YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw and if you're new here then welcome, it's lovely to have you and if you're already existing then hello, hello guys, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you a giant bauble reef tutorial. Now I did film this, it, I done a live with it in the end on YouTube and people were seeing me make it and um, if you'd seen it then hello, hello again. Um, because what happened was, is the story was this. I put my phone on the rest, started doing it, getting it done, nearly done with the ball balls, and my phone dropped off. I thought I smashed my phone, had to stop. My phone I thought was broke, but it turns out it was just running out of battery at the same time because I'm terrible with charging. And um, yeah, so I've had to stop kind of refilm. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how I made this, and we're going to just do a similar smaller version just so that you can see how I made it and put the baubles together and stuff like that. So you're going to need either a reef or if you're going to do a small version, you can get all of these from the pound shop. But what I use to make this one, oh, before I start, I've got to say as well, this video is in collaboration with the amazing Chelsea Bowen. She's so, so lovely. I don't like collabing and doing things like that. It's not really me. But Chelsea's a, like an avid crafter. She's got such lovely crafting hands. You won't get videos like this with Chelsea. Put it that way. She's very full on with her crafts. Very professional. Mine are a little bit clumsy. You would actually get the full on version video of what she's filming rather than like, oh yeah, well, by the way, I've dropped my phone. So I'm just going to show you like something similar. She's not like that. She's really, really good. And um, she, I've had to ask her to send me the link to her YouTube channel, and I'm going to link it below because I'm a techophobe. I don't know what I'm doing. So she's going to send me the link, and I'm going to put it below in the description box. So she's going to make a reef. I'm going to make a reef, and we're going to see what both of the reefs are like. I hope they're not the same because that would be ultra boring for you if they are. I don't think they are though. We've got very similar style. She's. She's more clever with her crafts though. She's more like, I would find something and I'd rather stick a ball ball to a reef. Chelsea's more like, she, she'll probably get wood and cut something out and she's she's really, really good. Like some of her autumn crafts were absolutely amazing and like, she liked rustic farmhouse. I like country and things like that and I like rustic as well. She's just got such nice taste. I mean, when she was uploading on her Instagram as well, like the pictures of all like inspiration for fall doors and decors and pumpkins. I was getting my little fix of autumn while I was flicking through and I think it's going to be the same with Christmas. So I've met like my Christmas soulmate, I know my full soulmate so I know that we like the same kind of stuff. So I'm really, really looking forward to seeing her, what she's made and if you want to go and have a little look at and check out her channel as well just to see what she's made and that'd be really lovely. So this is kind of like a challenge thing, what each other are making, we've said Christmas wreath, that is it go and make something. So I'm going to start off with this Christmas wreath. I'm going to bring it in a bit closer because it is really big. It doesn't look it coming up, but it is super massive. If you look at it compared to me, <laughs> I've got my little head for it. Hello! It is super massive. And what I made this wreath for was, is I actually bought a cheap pool noodle from Asta. So you know the, the long noodle things that kids swim with? So I've got this long pool, pool noodle and I just got it together at the end and just tied it up with duct tape. I was finding duct tape is super expensive in most shops, like four or five pounds for duct tape. I just got a cheap roll from the pan shop and it's holding up with all the baubles on it. And then what I done was I went into B&M, picked up two big boxes of um, baubles that I liked and I started sticking on with a glue gun. So what I wanted to just show you today is when I glued these baubles on, I tried to lay this flat. Now this is why it was proving hard. I think that's why I knocked the phone over. It was proving so hard to try and film this, laying this down, because it's best to be kept laying down so that they've got something to lean on while they're drying, otherwise they'd just drop off basically. But what I've done with the bubbles is I've tried to sort of be a little bit more forward than the back. Don't put them on the back, otherwise it won't hang very well and you probably end up breaking it. So when this is laying down, it's just enough that you can just about see the polystyrene ring at the back. So, I'm losing a bit of stem there. I haven't glued that on yet. So I just went round, and what I done was, is I've, I've done the outside loop first. So the bottom one, I just went all the way round the bottom of the ring and done it. And I'm gonna just do a couple of baubles just to show you in a bit more foliage to pack it out. And then I done the inside ring. Just gluing with a hot glue gun, a little bit on the ball ball, sticking it onto the inside of the ring. Then what you'll be left with, well, is something that looks like that. 
So the outside ring done, that ring done. So then what I've done is I started sticking ball balls to the front edge and then you end up getting gaps so then you'll fill it in with smaller ball balls. So it's best to get loads of different size ball balls for this project. I'm going to try and hang it up again, try not to knock anything off the dresser while I do it. Normally with pool noodles, you would probably be able to get them from places like the pound shop. They have a lot of them in like the shops that are selling out now because the summer's over. One place you would definitely be able to get a pool noodle if you can't get your hands on one is either on eBay online somewhere or Amazon. But you probably would be able to get them from like a local leisure centre or a swimming pool. They normally sell these as well as like um, armbands and stuff for kids. Probably a couple of pounds, so you'd be able to get that. I got a large pack of ball balls with the rusty sort of coloured ball balls and a few like the um, gold glittery ball balls that come in a large pack and it comes 32 and that's luxury ball balls for 5 dollars from um, b and and then I've got a big box of the 50 ball balls the luxury ones which are the more white ones and the larger gold ones and a few of the little ones in there and I've got that for 9 dollars so once I've paid for the reef which is um, the, the foam polystyrene thing I paid a pound in Asda for mine with a ball ball 6 for 7 it's 18 pound for the whole entire reef. And I'm also using some of the leftover stems. If you see my autumn reef that I made in autumn, I've got a lot of these leftover stemmy bits that I've cut, so the leftovers. By all means you can get bits from the garden, but I'm gonna be using two of these, so another two pounds. So the maximum that's gonna cost is about 20 pounds to make one of these bubble reefs. But if I'm completely honest, they sell in places like Matalan and The Range, much smaller versions for about £14. So the fact that that's a 65 centimetre reef, that is going to look like a, a massive statement on your front door and it's going to really hold up. So, and you can put that away every year, it's a bit of an investment piece. By all means, you can do this on a smaller format. You can cut the pool noodle down slightly before you tape it together to make a smaller circle. You could use a wire coat hanger. Or alternatively, you could buy a cheap reef and stick tons of ball balls onto it. But I just want to show you the fundamentals of what I'm doing. So I've got my I've got my hot glue gun heating up conveniently with no glue in it. So I'm really sorry, I wish I was just like I did actually start filming this, so it's like, hey today I'm doing a bubble reef right from the beginning. I'm trying to get the angles of it. It weren't quite working. So I've just left a couple of the bubbles off just to show you how easy it is. So you, I would take the little, you get the tiny little gold, little string things. I've popped mine off and what I've done is, is I'm not going to glue where this little knobbly bit is. I'm going to glue on the actual side of the bubble because if you glue it on that, it's not going to have a flat enough surface and you're going to need quite a lot of glue. And then what I'm going to do is just make sure that the bobbly bit is facing towards the back. And I'm just going to stick it on where I have a space and hold it. And what would be a good idea as well is if you put a tiny little bit of glue between each of the ball balls as you go along. See if this fits in there. Just a little bit inside, just so that that gives that an idea. You will get tiny little bits of these like glue hairs everywhere, but once this is all completely dry, you just pull them and they come off. And just hold that for a little bit. But if this is resting down and laying down on a table, it's got the table to rest on, so you haven't got to sit there holding it with your hand. And that's nearly dry now. So then I like to alternate the balls. So what I've done is when I got the packet of ball balls, I got them out, sectioned them off in different colours. So it's quite nice when you start uploading all of these different colours, it's quite nice to have them in sections so you know how many sort of works. So if I've got a brown one here, it's got a couple over there. So you end up getting it a bit more spaced out. So I've got another gold bubble to grow on. I've got loads of glue on the side. I'm just going to get the camera to get you a little bit closer so you can see what I'm actually doing. Let's hope I don't. Ooh. So you'll see a bit of the pool noodle from the side and a bit of the glue and I'm just gonna hopefully pop that on. I'm gonna <laughs> in that gap. I'm going to put you back down because otherwise I'm going to knock the whole reef over again. And we're going to have the scenario again. So I'm just going to pop that in there. And then once that's dry, I'm going to just put a little bit more hot glue between the two balls. Just like I said, to keep it a bit more together. And if you get any of these little glue hairs, it's absolutely fine. Now when you go with ball balls, 
You could really overdo this and spend loads of money on getting loads and loads of ball balls, making sure that it's all filled out. But I find by using the pound foliage from the pound shop, it's actually going to save you money in the long run because you'll then be able to fill in any of the gaps so you won't see none of the yellow. So what I started to do was, is a few of the gaps, you can see a little bit of the yellow coming through from the pool noodle in these sections here. So what I've been doing is this. I've been getting some little wire cutters, make sure the glue comes out of the way. I'm getting some little wire cutters and I've been cutting off stems, but also you could alternatively pull off the leaves, just attach a tiny little bit of glue and just pop it in, making sure to stick it to the ball balls in the background and just making sure that the foliage is filling out. Now, I've used two so far. Well, basically, these were two, two that I've got, and they were much more fuller. So I've just been using the leaves off those and tucking them in, twining them in, and you, there will be enough left on these to fill the whole entire bit out. And if you start to see, I'm going to use the two leaves, if you start to see as well that some places are a bit more fuller than others, you can even glue and just, like bits that stick onto the back of the balls, just flatten onto the back balls to really build this out and fill up any yellow. And what I would say is have a little look around it. So make sure that you go around and look at the sides, make sure you look from all the angles to see if you can see any yellow and fill it completely out. So look, I'm gonna get you a little bit closer. You will see that there's quite a bit of yellow on this side that you can see, and there's quite a bit here that you can see, but I'm just slowly, gradually, gradually filling it out and you can make honestly the most beautiful reefs you can do this with golds or silvers multicolor baubles any color baubles you can get your hands on i've done a little tutorial yesterday and that was like uh, making your own baubles so you could make your own baubles and even add those to it do whatever you like i'm just going to stick one last bauble on the front really pack it out leave a little section just so that you could see what I'm doing and you know what as well in the pound shop they do a lot of tiny little packs of little ball balls so what I've got here is this little these are from these are from last year so I was going to say as well if you do have gaps and you want to fill them and you don't want to spend out on extra if you go and collect some pine cones these are all over the local parks you could glue some pine cones and stick this to it you could make a whole massive reef just using pine cones, that would be a really lovely idea as well. But what I'm gonna do is, I get these from the works, but you can get a pack of two of these in the pound, um, you can get these in the pound shop. I've got a pack of two for a pound from the place called the works. Now these are all the leftover ones from the pound shop, all the like red ones, and I'm just gonna basically show you the whole technique that I've been doing so that you can just have a look. Because what you can do is make a lot smaller versions and then put a candle in the middle and have them as candle holders. Baubles are a really cheap and effective way of decorating at Christmas time. So with these ones, I'm just gonna glue on the side, a little bit nearer the ball ball, but not on the edge. And I'm just gonna go pointing the pointy bit down all around the edge. So you can still see the wicker at the back, but only just slightly, so that when it touches the wall, the baubles aren't gonna stop it from touching the wall. And like I said, you're gonna get the little bits of glue here, and that will just, once it's completely dry, it'll be fine. I've used a glittery one then, so I'm gonna go for a shiny one. And I've just been placing these. Try to leave a tiny, tiny gap between them, so that when the ball on the front sits on it, it isn't like trying to be pushed off. It's got a little bit of a gap to sort of sit on and rest between. And also as well, you'll find you never measure these out perfectly because you can't place them until you've already glued them. So you might end up with a space that's far too small um, for one more ball ball, but you could just move the other two ball balls over a little bit. This side. So I'm going to go for a matte one. And I'm just leaving a little bit of a gap so you can see a little bit of the wicker as you go completely round. It is one of the quickest, most calming crafts you can do making these things, really, really simple. I can imagine that these are gonna be getting made 
so much in my house and these are really good to get the kids into as well and as you can see it really builds up really quick and easy and you haven't got to spend a lot of money because in pound shop they do lots of baubles to be honest i got the luxury baubles so i thought i want it to be a big statement there isn't loads and loads of shops where i live and um, without actually traveling out so i didn't want to have to spend loads of money but i thought what's the most sort of convenient as well so b m was the best place for me but if you have a place where you have like even home bargains home bargains do amazing big packs of baubles but like argos at christmas they do amazing big packs of baubles i reckon if you've done this in a multicolored one it would look absolutely beautiful but you can do this in like a blush pink you can do it you could even have it in like blush pink you know when people have blush pink and they put feather boas in their tray a christmas tree you could get the pool noodle wrap the feather boas around the pool noodle and then add the ball balls to make it look all fluffy as well or just add single feathers they do them in the pound shop as well it would just look absolutely beautiful i can't i actually can't wait to see what chelsea's making she's such a she's such a good crafter Sometimes we have quite similar ideas, but she'll do like something, it will be a bit different. So it's always worth having a look, especially if you like my crafts, because she does do really good, she does do really good crafts, and my crafts are a bit slapdash, but she really does make the, the really loveliest things. I also think she has an Etsy shop where she sells items as well, so they've got to be pretty good if she knows that she can sell them. But I'm going to link it all below and hopefully you'll go and have a little look. If you'd like to have a look at my Instagram, because on my Instagram, sometimes if I do mess up a video, I'm going to just do it live so that it isn't wasted. So people still get to see me making it. So if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, that's Rosie Henshaw Home. And I will link, well, I won't link it, I'll write it below because I can't link. Maybe I'll copy and paste Chelsea's link. Oh, that's to my YouTube, that isn't to the Instagram. I might ask Chelsea a favour, I might say to Chelsea, Chelsea, would you mind very kindly getting me my link of my Instagram because I have no idea what it is so that I can start linking it in my videos. Very cheeky of me. She might be like, bug off, go away. So as you can see, it really starts to look nice. Now you can just use any colours that you want. I was half tempted. I love the colours of this and I think the reason I've done this is because it's going to actually go in my dining room. So I've got like the rustic sort of colours from like the wood on my table, my rocking horse a little bit of wood here it's also got some of the champagnes to bring a bit of metallics in but it's got a lot of sage from the foliage so i'm loving that at the minute these are going to look just lovely as little candle holders though it's crazy because on the day that i made one of these i made these in a silver one but i'm going to have these actually hung on my tree in the hallway when i made one of these it's a lovely lady on instagram and she said that she'd done one with like foliage and I was like, how mad is that? I've actually been making one, like a little candle holder one today, myself. So I know that I do chat to... That's the thing with Instagram. A lot of people mind about social media, but you do meet such lovely, like-minded people doing crafting. You are going to go through tons of glue sticks, though. Let me just pre-warn you that. You are going to go through so many glue sticks, and I'm finding Pound Shop is kind of like the best place. They do like a £2 pack in their £2 section, and you get loads of glue sticks. And my glue gun was only... Um, but this was two pound as well in the two pound section of glue gun. It might have been in the five pound section, but for how often I use a glue gun with all my crafts, it's definitely well worth purchasing if you're going to be making a lot of crafts, especially over Christmas. I've gone through so much glue. I've gone through nearly a whole packet of the pound shop ones. So you have got to sort of just take that cost into effect as well when you're making all this stuff. Hope I'm rubbing on too much. So, just, it's just basically to give you an idea of how I've done it. So I just basically went around all the, I keep saying basically, I really need to pack that on the head, don't I? Is it pack that on the head or not that on the head? Oh, it's terrible. Do you know what, I'm really tempted though to start adding a few of these lovely little dark blue ones on there. Because I do have a little bit of berry out here as well in the dining room. We put a tree up in every room in the house. I'm so excited. Now Halloween's out the way, I'm just, there's gonna be no stopping me. I'm gonna be Christmas crafting, Christmas hauling, Christmas clothes. I really wish I could edit those so that I could start doing a few little vlogs. So, because I'm gonna go down and make, I'm gonna be making a lovely big foliage wreath for my front door um, over the next couple of weeks which I can't wait, and I'm going to be doing a like an uh, artificial one, and I'm going to be doing a real one as well. I just can't wait to start making those. I'm going to start doing all them. 
loads of decorations, lots of Christmas crafts coming up. I just can't wait now. This, this is my time when I get really excited. I just absolutely love Christmas. So, so excited. I just realised my nails actually match these colours perfectly. See? It's a Christmas spirit. They were actually painted for Halloween though, so it doesn't really count. And some of them are a little bit more forward than the others, but it don't really matter, because once you start building up the ball balls, you're not really going to notice. All I will say is when you build up the ball balls on the front, this is the tip that I would say. I would never put the pump, like the bobbly bit downwards, but definitely get as close as you can to that knobbly bit so that you can sort of tuck it in and hide it. And then, you see what I mean? Like where there was a gap, kind of like feel that as you come in. And... I've got a feeling there's going to be a lot of bubble briefs being made. They're just so easy. So, so easy. I just cannot, I can't wait to see what Chelsea's made as well. Because she said that she'd finished hers that day. And I was like, so what have you made? And she's keeping, she's keeping quiet about it. But I feel a little bit like a child. Like I like to know what's going on. So it feels a little bit like a little Christmas gift in itself. Can't wait to see what she's making. She's got so many good crafts over Christmas. And if you are coming over from Chelsea's channel, hiya, thank you for coming over. Can you hear that? Alf, get up. That's Gary, telling off Alfie. <laughs> He's going through a stage at me, he just sort of just lays on the floor. He'll like mess around or he'll be naughty and we'll say, get on the naughty step now, come on, you just lay there on the floor. Like, I ain't going nowhere. Who do you think you're telling? And just try and tuck in the little knobbly bits. And you start to really build up the ball balls. And these are just going to look so cute at Christmas. Once you add foliage as well with a few little candles in the middle. Have it on the table. Ball balls is the way forward. And I absolutely love my wreath. So I'm going to give you another little close up of my wreath. And I'm sorry that I'm not showing you the complete tutorial of it. I really wish I was. But... Yeah, they come out absolutely amazing. These literally look like they've been bought, you've bought from a shop. They are made so beautifully and you can make them as big as you like. I do think you could probably even put two pool noodles together and make a giant one for the wall. And it'd probably be a lot cheaper, even if you don't want to have a tree because it takes up too much room in your house. You could make a giant, giant one of these and hang it on the wall, make a big bow for the top of this. I'm thinking of making a big burlap bow for the top of this to sort of keep him with a rustic farmhouse feel. But all of these baubles are from B&M. B all the foliage is from the pound shop. So it's relatively cheap to make and I think that this definitely looks like something you could have bought in Home Sense or TK Max. But for a lot more money. So and I'm just going to fill in all the little foliage. You can even add a little bit of foliage to your little, to your little ones. Thread it through. Add bits, make it look really Christmassy and berry. Put little candles in it. It's just going to look super, super cute. So... Hopefully, I've just basically explained. What is with that basically? That basically, it's not basically, Rosie. Just stop saying basically. So I'm going to go now. I hope this video was informative as it could be. I'm so, so sorry. But I am just absolutely terrible at filming. And when my phone fell over and I thought I broke it, I was like, I can't remake it because I would just have tons of ball ball and I would literally be like really really poor as well if I just kept every time I made a mistake making it rebuying the stuff to make more ball ball reefs so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that you make some if you do and you've got Instagram please follow me on Instagram or just send me a picture just so I can see I love to see all the makes that you make don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and you want to and give it a thumbs up if you like it leave a lovely comment or a bad one if you don't like it, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> I take your opinion on board. So have a lovely rest of your week. Well, it's the weekend now, isn't it? Have a lovely weekend. I don't normally do this crafts on a Friday. It's the 1st of November, so it's officially, it's Christmas. And we've got loads and loads of crafts coming up. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Take care. Have a fantastic weekend. See you later. Bye.